All right, so the next feature we're going to talk about today is Windows Hello support. We're proud to announce the general availability of support for Windows Hello as a multi-factor option in Okta. So for those of you who don't know, Windows Hello is a native biometric-based authentication method that's built into Windows 10. It leverages the infrared cameras built into something like the Surface Pro to recognize your face and authenticate you based on that, so you never even have to type in a password as an end user. As you can imagine, some of our customers are pretty excited about this, and we want to support everything that's important to you, so we are announcing support today. One other thing is, not only is Windows Hello easy to use, it only requires the hardware that you have in front of you, your computer. It doesn't uh, require a phone or any additional hardware, so that's really useful and easy to roll out in some cases as well. Finally, if you don't have those infrared cameras, this method will fall back to a pin and you can use that for MFA. Jim's going to show you how to use this one as well. So Jim. Thanks Eric. Yeah, Windows Hello gives you yet another MFA option to leverage when securing your Okta org. Let me show you how it works. The first thing you will need to do as an Okta admin is to make Windows Hello an option for your users when configuring MFA on their devices. To do so, point to the security menu and then select multi-factor. With the factor type tab displayed, click on edit and then select Windows Hello. Next, you'll need to add Windows Hello as either an optional or required MFA type to your MFA enrollment policies. As you can see here, I am editing an existing enrollment policy setting Windows Hello as an optional factor type. Now, assuming you have created an Okta sign-on policy or an app-level sign-on policy to prompt users to provide a second factor of authentication, your users will now be able to use Windows Hello as a valid MFA option. But let's take a moment to now switch from the Okta admin perspective to the end-user perspective. Assuming Windows Hello has been set up on the user's Windows device, and also assuming that they are using the Microsoft Edge browser, which is required to leverage Windows Hello, the end user will now have Windows Hello as an MFA option to set up. Once the end user has enrolled their Windows device to leverage Windows Hello as an MFA option, they can take advantage of the face recognition feature of Windows Hello or use the Windows Hello PIN number as a valid second factor of authentication to access Okta or a particular application. Well, that's all for me today. Now I'm going to pass you over to Aaron Yee. He's a senior technical marketing manager here at Okta, focused on our lifecycle management product. And he's got a highly anticipated product enhancement to announce.